Okay. All right. So this is the end um, of episode twelve that we just finished watching, and we're about to do our rankings on who's you know on top. But mm. how are we ranking it first? Who you think? Yes. No. Gonna, Go ahead. Who we think is gonna be together and also make it the long, the longest. So who that. actually going? Uh, say it again. Who you think is just gonna make it in the whole? Who are gonna choose themselves? Who are gonna choose each other? Well, because if they choose each other, they're also gonna be together in the long run. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So who's gonna be together the longest? Exactly. Okay. All right. So you wanna go first? I'll go first. Because yeah. <laughs> I feel like you've been sick. Okay. I know for four is Luke and Kate. I had hope for them, but. I don't. I don't like Luke, okay? I have no hope, okay? That's why he's born. Nope, don't go there. Anyway, Luke and Kate is four because of Luke. Number one is Christine and... What's his name? Keith. They're one only because he seems willing to change. That's why he's number one. Because before I thought it was just going to be too much. You cook, you stay home, that's it. I won't do anything, but he's trying to change. <laughs> Thank you. Two and three is the hardest right now. What's his name? What's the tall guy? AJ and Stephanie. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous on AJ's attitude for whenever he gets mad. So I am a very... I'm a kid. A reluctant three are here? Is it a, a reluctant three? I, I said. Uh, what how you feel? What do you feel? I feel like I I, I want to give him a three only because of the attitude, but I feel like Stephanie will sit there and just deal with it. So I feel like that will move them to a two. But that's why you see. That's why I'm like, which one? Which one? Okay. And then for Jasmine and Will. Because Will is not open with whatever it is that's bothering him. Because the only issue is the whole intimacy. If he was intimate, I think Jasmine would be happy. Okay? Like, forget all the other mess. She'll be happy. And maybe he's just nervous to, to do that in front of the camera and have it be recorded. So, Jasmine and Will 2, AJ73. Okay. I'm really nervous about that, though. My 2 and 3, I'm nervous. I might change it in the other episode, but we'll see. Okay, I'll try to keep mine short and sweet. Um, number four, Luke and Kate. For obvious reasons, um, Luke is not attracted to her. Kate is definitely attracted to him. But, you know, and she's actually willing to deal with that. Deal mess. with insecurities and everything. But the issue A lot of people. is going to be Luke is just not interested and he's there because i'm sure he has to save face until it's all done so he can just say you know what just like you said he's gonna throw the drinking card hey watch that for the, the re exactly. watch that for decision day she's gonna say you're a wino huh? that's why you got to go mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay number three it's jasmine and will will has issues for some reason with being intimate and you know, we don't want to guess what those are, but that's really stopping any progress in their relationship. I mean, they started from number one because they were such good communicators. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to that issue, it was a halt. It's just exactly a big old screech, screeching halt. And so that's why they have to be number three for me. And number two, AJ and Stephanie. Yes, AJ gets frustrating, but otherwise, he seems very thoughtful of Stephanie. He seems to be a really good listener. And yes, he has momentary lapses where he'll just bust out. But hopefully it's... I think, I mean, nobody's perfect. Everybody's going to have something that they're not good at. And... I feel that's something that can easily be worked on. Okay. And 
but mostly it can only be worked on if Stephanie is quick to just make sure that hey buddy I understand you're frustrated but let's find like methods of dealing with that they are my number two and Christine and Key Key are my number one because Christine's already in love with Key she's head over heels already she's saving face doesn't want to say that she's in love but she was in love before the mini name. That's what I think. Key, she's he's in love too because she can cook. He can cook, and I mean, as you all know, you know, Keith had a lot of issues with both his parents where they were not reliable in his life. And so his grandmother and aunt have been a very constant figures in his life and I think Keith is able to look at someone and see, does this person genuinely care about me? And if he feels that way, he's going to put his all into it. And I feel that Keith generally feels like Christine really cares about him. And that's why he's willing to change. And he's willing to just give it his all. And he, I think that's why he loves him. That's why he's number one. And Christine loves him because he sees... I have someone I can easily mold him to how I want him. And Keith is saying, you can mold me as long as you just feed me and, you know, cook for me and clean. And make the money too. No, he, he he's going to school. He's going to make the money. But just be patient. He's saying, look, I'll become the man you want me to be. And that's why, that's my number one. <laughs> okay, so we're watching um, episode 14, 13. 13. And, you know, um, oh. Kate was talking to Luke at a restaurant and she said, I think it's time for us to have a talk. And you know, Luke had the classic, you know, again, heavy sigh and you know, a slight eye roll. And so we started talking about the conversation about how. Oh, can I? I'm sorry, yes, that's, yes, just so, so you remember. Go, 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 go. All I was gonna say, just help me so I don't forget, mm -hmm. it's. Okay, so so Martha started telling me about how that's the quintessential. They never got a clear answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just left. Like, isn't that what you said before? You didn't understand. Yeah, like we didn't understand. No, no, we never got like the answer that you wanted. We never felt like you gave us the answer. We actually a definitive answer we were looking for, either a yes or a no. You gave us the run around. Okay, now go ahead. Okay. I just had to have it. So out there. you know when and so Martha, you Ignore know, me people. Made, I'm having a moment right now. So she made a statement about how, you know, every time a girl mentions that they want to have a talk, the girl will have the same quintessential reaction: a heavy sigh, eye roll, like here we go again, and. I told her that it's because what, well, I don't want to go into generality, so I'll say in my experience was every time I heard let's talk, it was always about the same topic. And when I would bring up that, we already talked about that. It would be like, but I, I didn't say this specific word, especially last time I might've said something else, but this time. I might be saying the same thing, but I'm saying it in a different way. It's a different example. But this different example to the same point. And so I told Martha that sometimes you guys do it. No, I forgot my train. No, no. Okay. Some, he's saying sometimes we do it because at the end of the day, we want to. Have you said? I know. I don't remember my first point, but it's about... No, your point was that we wanted to just... Oh my gosh, why are we blanking? It's just blanking right now. I think it's the lights. <laughs> so, but I think what we said, I think he'll come to us, but what Martha said is we didn't... They didn't yeah, because women don't feel like they got the answers they were looking for. No. But what I would say is it's not that you didn't get the answer you're looking for. You, you just... Did, if we didn't agree with whatever you said, you're not going to be satisfied with it. And so you guys are going to keep bringing it up until you find a way to like... Convince you. Convince us. Because then that's why you always try to bring it a new example. Hold on, before I lose it. You try to bring a new example the next time because you're like, well, 
Last example didn't convince him, but guess what I got in this bag? The example that will convince him. And that's what you, but no, it's not going to change anything. And there won't be a light switch that says, oh my gosh, I finally get it. I will definitely change from that talk. No, if nothing changed, we just don't agree. And you just need to agree that we're not going to agree to on it. And that's it. Just to add on that one. It's not exactly that. We f yes, we do want to convince you, right? But it's also on the aspect of you. we wanted something more definite, whether a yes or a no. But instead, the person is like, the guy is like, give me give me any situation that you have to answer yes or no to Did, are you gonna go riding a horse today i know very weird but it go with me are you gonna ride a horse today the female asked that to the dude and the dude would be like horses no no here's a good one here's a good one if i became a vegetable would you get into another relationship like let's say you got into an accident you got into a coma oh that's what you meant i'm like oh <laughs> Simple. I'm like, I, guess, cause, cause I don't think you're having a long talk over are you gonna ride the horse today? You're not gonna sit someone down and say, I wanna have a talk and then say, Are you gonna ride the horse today? Uh, let me give my example okay, for you sorry, to know sorry. what I'm talking about. Cause I, you you going, I don't know. So the example that I was going with, I was just making it simple. A simple question is, Are you gonna go riding a horse today? A simple answer would be, Yes, I am, or no, I'm not. And guess what the guy's gonna do? A horse is an animal, and it right it, it jumps around everywhere. I am a man, and I do as I please, whether I want to ride the horse or not. Anything else you want to say? And that's the point. They never made a definite answer, and so the woman's like, "Oh my gosh, oh my gosh." Can we Something's just... wrong with him. No, sometimes because if you really think about it, Luke does that. If you watch Married at First Sight, you realize that Luke never gives Kate a definite answer. He goes in a circle and he says gibberish, and it keeps it moving. And you know it too. But that was a good example. That is the most exaggerated thing I've heard in 2019. My, po it's the point that I'm trying to make that. I was just using just, a very odd example. No, 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 but my point the point was, was still horrible, made. Horrible, horrible example. The point was still made that you don't answer the question at hand. You go in a circle. Because anytime ladies, if you know what I'm talking about, and if you agree that Luke was doing that the entire time, please, please, either comment or like or something. I just need maybe a comment so I know if you are female or not. And if you're male. I want to know if you are. <laughs> I just want to know who you're talking to. It seems like you owe whoever you're talking to some money. Ladies. <laughs> ladies, ladies, and more ladies. You know what it was? I'll say this. It was. Ladies, <laughs> subscribe, like, comment. Ladies. No. My ladies, down there. <laughs> down there. Down where? They didn't see where you pointed. All no. I'm saying is. No, no okay. I'm sorry. I, I I have a bad no, habit of cutting no, off. No, I apologize, no. but I'm going a little here. If anybody ever saw that own channel, that own dating channel show, I forgot what it was called. Love something. Are you ready or something like that? There was one of the guys who was a player that did the same thing. Just run. It's what players do. Simple as that. I'll leave it there. Okay, but the example was bad because. If you're having to sit someone say, we need to have a talk, it's not going to be over something trivial, like, are you riding a horse? It would be like the example I gave you. It'd be like, hey, if I was in a coma, would you get into another relationship? Because... And, and you still go in the circle. But I'm, I'm about to tell you why a guy might not give you a direct yes or no black or white answer. Because a question like that, there's a lot of gray areas <clears throat> involved. Like... First of all, because I would ask, okay, let's, what if, how long are you in a coma for? Because that would make, be something serious. Because if you're in a coma for like five, six years, hey, won't you want me to also have maybe somebody 
because okay you like i would definitely not date someone after the one two maybe even three years but like once you pass that three year mark the doctor said we don't know when she's coming back so i'm just supposed to be alone all my life that's all i'm saying now i'm i'm saying i could be with someone but whoever i'm with i tell them she's still my number one person the person that's in a coma will be my number one person we gotta take care of her she's still my wife but you know the guy has needs he wants also to have someone to share a life with and so that's why the talk when you talk when you sit down for a talk it's usually a big topic that you can't give a yes or no like oh are you riding a horse no it's a really heavy topic that you can't give a straight answer because of so many gray areas. That's all I'm trying to tell you. That's why you get that whole, I didn't get a clear answer because it's really hard to give a clear but answer. But it, it also all depends on how you explain it. If you exp It all depends on how you explain it. If you say, in the future, maybe so, just not right now. That is pretty much almost like a definite answer. And you but know, you see the how... lady may ask, when do you feel? But that one, if you say you're not sure, that's kind of understanding. But you see it. how it starts off with first me asking questions like, how long are you in a coma for? Um, did the doctor say there's a chance of you but coming some... back? And that's why the question, sometimes after you guys were talking back and forth, sometimes that's how arguments drag for hours. So the person, whichever side, will be like, I'm done. But it was never resolved. So you got to bring it back up. No, no. Or, this is sorry. how... Let me cut you off real quick. This is this is why it drags on. And this is why you guys come back with a new conversation. Let's say, and and everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Some women might be like, you better not marry anybody or be with anybody because you chose to be with me. It's the good times, the bad times, till death do us part, right? Mm. So she might be like, I don't care if it's 20 years. You better be here, single, and with me. And so if the guy says, no, I'm not, you're going to be in a coma and I'm not. So the, the, the whole topic might then end afterwards, but then later on, all you're going to be doing the whole time, because, you know, in your mind, you're like, till death do us part. That's the only time that man is getting someone else. So the whole time you're over here washing dishes, you're at work in the middle of doing a big presentation or doing whatever, drive in listen to a podcast and the whole time you're just waiting for another example waiting for another example you finally find one you're like yes i got one that will get him to, to look at things my way so you come back say hey i want to talk again about that same topic with this example now and then you go through the whole little dance the guy says still no and then either you're satisfied or you're not satisfied and guys will do the same thing too where We'll want to talk, and maybe if we haven't convinced you, we'll go look for new examples and then do it. But that's why. But women usually do it more because women are the ones who usually say we should talk. The guys, when they say that, probably if they're just breaking up. You know, the best thing I learned is best for in the relationship is these few words. And I'm telling you, they are amazing, and you need them to save to save a lot of time. And to finish a lot of arguments. Stay with me here. You know, I'm gonna try to get on. Oh, these, yeah, are, yeah, oh, these yeah. are very special oh, yeah. ones I hold here. Undivided attention right now. Agree to disagree. <laughs> that is a beautiful. <laughs> a lot of arguments will end that way oh, so much yeah. quicker. Oh, so, oh, you save so much time. You save <laughs> so much time, guys. 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 You love good. <laughs> guys. Extra. Just say agree to disagree. That's it. That's true. Or you could also do what Dre does because he's so he can't stand us arguing and then an argument stop like I'm like I'm done, I'm done. Even though he knows he knows I say I'm done, but I'm not really done because at night when we speak again, you know, I don't mean to bring this up, but you know he knows I'm about to bring it up. So a lot of times, whenever we're arguing and he said he says I'm done, but I'm not done, he'll be like, just say it because I can't hear it later on today. Just get it out now. And get it out now. And then before we do it, before anything else, agree to disagree and pew, we're both happy. I like that. Well, guys, make sure you um, leave a dislike because asking for likes and subscriptions is overrated. Oh, true. true. Leave a dislike.
I agree. You think YouTube's gonna definitely take it down after too many dislikes, right? I don't know. I don't wanna see. Is it? I don't know. Hey, don't leave a like, just leave a dislike. Let's see what happens to YouTube. We'll make a video about what happened to this video. Okay. Yeah. With the whole situation with Luke and Kate, I really think, well, Luke has been pushing a lot, saying that Kate drinks a lot, a lot, a lot. But Kate has been saying he hasn't, she stopped, and hasn't been drinking as much. So my thing is, I think he's already came up, him, I think him and his family, because the mom it was so against it. And even whenever she met Kate, mm -hmm. she was like, yeah, you'll be okay even after all this is over and everything. Mm -hmm. You feel like you tried. But anyway, so I think Luke and his family came up with a scapegoat. So on decision day, he can say she's been drinking and that's why he doesn't want to move forward. They came up with a game plan and that's why he's pushing it so hard so he doesn't embarrass himself and his family as if he didn't try saying that he did try even though he was he never really tried. Now, that's my view. Now, I completely agree with you, but just play devil's advocate. Okay. When... You know, at first when Luke talked about she's drinking and they were talking about four wine glasses, it didn't seem serious. But she admitted that, yeah, sometimes, you know, when Luke's confronted about you'll drink and then get blackout drunk and then say, I don't remember what happened last night. And then he kept saying, you know, I hate how you talk or how you start when you get angry because when she tries to initiate something, nothing's happening. But because, I mean, we all understand she's drinking more because she's feeling, you know, frustrated. frustrated and so she's turning into al to alcohol to cope. But I wonder, it's like she's doing that to cope because he's not attracted to her. But then he's not attracted to her because she's also drinking, you know. But because even when, but but then again, even when she's not drinking and still tries to go and initiate things he's still like standoffish or says no i don't want to do it and so again i mean based on everything i said i still agree with you i feel that that's definitely his out the drinking i need someone who doesn't drink but because even with the four glasses from what he said it was only the honeymoon no but it's happened multiple occasions that's not the only time it's happened. But right now, I don't know. With the way Luke is, whenever he talks, he always goes in a circle. He never says anything. He, he's like a player who never say, who never has a point that he's making. He knows how to run around the subject. I, I gotta defend him. I think what he's doing, and you could see based on they were having a conversation in the car, and you could clearly see him always looking at the camera and trying to be very reserved about what he wants to say because he just doesn't want to say it in front of the camera. For example, I mean, he didn't even want to talk about that they were having sex. He always wants to talk privately only because he doesn't want to... Why he sign up for the show? You know the whole point of the show is to be taped. I... Why sign up for it and then you keep everything to yourself? That's true. But Like, come on now. That's true. I mean, you're right, but I see why he did it, you know? He's trying to like keep things private. At least the problems, you know, you know how some people are. Where I knew, I knew from where, one of the other seasons, there was this girl who never wanted to talk anything crazy in front of the cameras. Yeah. But it was just when it's so I don't know. Sometimes it's like, do you guys forget what you signed up for? Like, you signed up for the people to watch you. But I'm sorry, you can actually raise your name from the contract. But I think you have to separate the thing too. Yes, I mean, it's not like they're taping you 24 7. Exactly. But to them, they could say, well, no. Yes, I know they're taping, but I, di I didn't sign up to just be taped. They could say, if I just want to be taped, I probably would have went and tried out for other shows, you know? But they signed up for this one because they're actually looking for love. Because this one also came with, like, you know, um, counselors, it came with pastors, it came with people they could talk to to try to help them go through with them finding love or finding a husband. 
So you can't just say, oh, you signed up for it because, I mean, unless we go look at what are the places they signed up for, if they signed up to the real world, then you could say, um, okay, you do want to be on TV. No, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Okay. This is a TV show. No excuses. I'm sorry. He said nothing to me. He went, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Hey, Signed up for a TV hey, show. I, I can't argue. I think you make a clear point. It is a TV show. But you you want to do it privately? Go to a matchmaker. Yeah. And then you go pay for your counselors on top of that. Get mm. out of here.